What's happening guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. Today I'm finally getting around to doing the Lightroom edit video. A couple of weeks ago I sent out an Instagram story asking you guys to turn in your photos to me that you want me to edit on a live video Lightroom tutorial experience. I have to apologize because it took me forever to get around to making this video but I'm finally doing it. I'm gonna do it today. It's crappy and rainy out and cold and I was like this is the perfect day to get some photo editing done. But I also want to preface this video with saying I'm not a professional when it comes to Lightroom editing or photo editing. I've really just developed my own style over time after shooting my car for so long and editing my own photos for Instagram and then doing like a few different live streams where we edited some photos on the actual live stream but I am in no way shape or form a professional I just do this for fun it's just a hobby so I wanted to make this video and kind of talk my way through some of the edits that I'm making while I'm doing the video and give you guys the before and after and then I'll send those high-res images back to the people that sent them in so they can use them on their Instagram or whatever they want so we did get a lot of entries and I just want to thank everyone that turned them in I'm just picking a few for right now and we'll do another round of this maybe we'll do a few more videos just like this down the line I want to see how this one goes over see how you guys perceive it and then from there I'll make my decision but anyways let's hop into the video and start this editing all right, you guys, so we are on the screen. You should see the photos nice and large, and then you have me down here in the corner. And we're just gonna kind of run through these photos. Also, you guys, I'm gonna try and do my best to pronounce some of your names, and if I screw up, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's take a swig of this coffee and get right into these edits. So this first photo was sent in by Lance Fenderson. Thank you for sending this in, Lance. I'm just looking at it, it looks like there's a lot of yellow going on in the pavement. That's probably something that I would pull out. And then usually silver has a lot of blue in it. I don't see a ton of blue in this. Usually I like to start off by messing with the contrast a little bit, bring it up, and then always I bring up the shadows and the blacks because especially with black wheels and like the black accents, it's really hard to define a lot of that stuff. And then I'll bring up the, the clarity a little bit, which sometimes can make it a little bit grainy, but I have a resolution for a lot of that graininess down the line. And then I'll also bring up the saturation a little bit here. And you'll already see that the clarity and the vibrance has brought out a lot of the trees in the background and a lot of the yellow that's going on. There's way too much yellow, so we're gonna take care of that down here. We're gonna hop into yellow, maybe bring that back a little bit, um, just so it's not too much and it's not too overbearing. You can already tell the silver already looks like it's popping way harder, which is awesome. So this is where I actually smooth out some of that crispiness, some of that, um, that vibrance and clarity. I go into sharpening and I just set these all to the middle. And I usually do this for like all my photos and it just smooths everything out a little bit. So if I feel like it looks too smooth, like right now I'm losing some of that clarity, I'll actually go back up and then I'll bring a little more clarity into it, maybe a little more vibrance until I'm happy with it. And then you can also just bring back some of the amount that you're smoothing it with. There's a little bit of noise reduction you can use too. So basically what that is doing is it's taking some of the sharpness and just kind of smoothing it over. So I can still get a lot of the definition, but it just looks cleaner. Bring this little mask down here a little bit. So these are just masks where you can individually control things. And I like to do these on the top and bottom uh, just to kind of bring out some of the background. And the background in this is, is already so dark that I probably wouldn't do a crazy amount of stuff to it yeah I wouldn't I really wouldn't do too much to it like I don't have a problem with where it is the car is the focal point anyway so it's like we don't want to get too nuts I do kind of like how this is lightening the bottom a little bit it might be a little too much though so what we'll do is we'll head down here pull back a little bit on the exposure so it's not lightening it up so much you just want to make sure that the car is actually the main focal point and then I think we're gonna head down to our little s curve make a little s curve and that'll bring out some of the highlights in the mid tones kind of get it to where we want it so this is this looks pretty good I still feel like there's a lot of yellow maybe it's the orange yeah it's the orange cool so this already looks a lot better and you just want to find like a middle ground like I think that looks pretty good I kind of like that right there so what it did is it, it brought the silver makes the silver pop and then it just kind of subdued some of those oranges and yellows um, I never like to go like too crazy on colors I mean my car is silver so a lot of the times I'm just focusing on like blues and whites and blacks everything else I just kind of try to depending on like the sky and what I have going on like if there is a big sky in the background of this one I would probably approach it a little bit differently but I like this I think this is good this is solid for what it is 
and we're gonna go ahead and export it and move on to the next one. If you guys are posting these to your Instagram, make sure you're tagging me and I'll repost it or I'll reshare it on mine. All right, so here's the next photo. This one was sent in by Felix Bob. Thank you for sending this in, man. Awesome photo, great looking car. Looks very similar to mine. I love it, dude. I feel really sorry for you because you had to put a front plate on your car, man. My condolences. I hope there aren't any uh, holes behind that plate. So right away I noticed that it's a little bit washed out. The entire photo is kind of too bright. There's almost too much going on with the brightness. So we're gonna hop up to the top here, maybe bring down the exposure a little bit. And the contrast should help us out a lot. We also have a pretty crazy flare going on from the sun. You know, we might not even need to bring up too many of the black accents because it's already, it feels like the photo is already really light. So what I think I'm gonna do is work more on the contrast side of things. And you also have silver rims, which, which makes a huge difference. I have black rims, so a lot of times I'm playing with the blacks and the shadows in order to bring those black rims out, which is cool because you have so much individual control in Lightroom. So we're gonna do like we did before. I'm gonna bring up the clarity and a little bit of the vibrance. You can see right away that the blues are coming in real strong. That usually happens with a lot of the silver cars. I always do this S-curve here. I feel like it makes the darks, the mid-tones, and the light uh, highlights just pop so much harder. Especially on like the headlights, you can tell right away. It just looks so much better. The blue is, is, is really, really strong. I'm just gonna bring that down a little bit and find like an even ground. It's not that I wanna get rid of the blue entirely, but I just wanna bring it in tastefully. Like, well, this is what we had before, and that's like, that's a lot of blue. So I wanna bring it back to something more like that. Like, that looks much cleaner to me. And everything is already looking so crisp and so clean in this photo. So then we'll go ahead and put our smooth filters on, maybe just bring back that clarity a little bit. Feels like it's just a little over the top. This already looks super good. Um, I think I'm gonna bring a little bit more blue into it. It's like right there. Dude, this looks sick. This is an awesome photo. This is pretty cool. I put a mask over the top up here and you can see that some of the sky is coming out. I don't know if it's, it's a little too washed out for us to work with. Uh, I don't wanna go too crazy. I kinda like the yellow. A little bit of yellow tint in it. It's kinda sick. So we'll put a little bit of yellow, a little bit of the uh, magenta in there. Just to make it a little bit different. Before it was just white. So this adds a little bit of character to it. To go ahead and put my filter on down at the bottom too. And anytime you put these masks on, they start out really dark, like the exposure is super low. Uh, you usually don't want it that, that crazy, so we'll just do that. I'm impartial on these flares. Um, there's a few things we could do about them. But for me personally, this would be an easier fix in something like Photoshop, just because I'm not really feeling some of these like sun flares. It looks cool on the bumper right here. I don't really love uh, what's going on down here. I feel like it's distracting. So I think what I'm gonna do, I love how it's up here though. This looks awesome up here. Well, this is what we'll do. We will finish the edit in Lightroom and then we'll go ahead and do some post work in Photoshop. Um, Cause there's a couple of things that I wanna fix. There's like a little dot right here and then I'm gonna fix these sun glares down here and this little blue, st blue spot over here. There's also a couple little specks in there. So we can make this look a lot better just by taking it into Photoshop and doing a little bit of work. So let's go ahead. I'm happy with where it's at right now. Um, let's go ahead and shoot this over to Photoshop. And then what I'll do, I'm going to take this clone stamp tool that is just awesome. Oh brother, looks like you, you had the same similar setup bumper as me. I had I had a rough bumper before I got a new one. So you can see how I'm just kind of going in here and cleaning up some of this stuff. So now, is everyone really going to notice this? Um, probably not, but I'm kind of a freak like this, dude. And I used to do this a lot on my old bumper because it was just trashed. And um, it really didn't look good. So I just went in for some of the photos and just made it a little bit cleaner. And it looks like that's pretty much all. Well, you got a little more over here. So we're just kind of clone stamping some of these things, uh, trying to get rid of the blemishes. And after I do a clone stamp, I like to go over to this little hand right here. And this is a smoothing tool. So what it'll do is kind of just mesh some of that stuff together. So like some of the clone stamps were a little bit harsh like that one. I can just kind of smooth it over. Now it's just, it's gone. It just looks way better. Um, that one too, bam, gone, bam, gone, bam, gone. All these, bam, gone. Like look at how smooth you can make it. And so if you really wanted to get crazy, you could go into every single little thing and just, um, you know, nitpick on it and, and get it real, 
real clean looking back over it. So already like the front end looks pristine now. I actually really like this little sunspot right here, but we're gonna get rid of these ones down here and we're gonna basically use the same methods. First gonna take this clone stamp and I'm gonna make it a little bit larger and kind of go along uh, the edge here and kind of just try and try and mask it as best as possible. That, and then we'll just go ahead and bring in our smooth tool again. You have to be careful though on like textures. Um, it can look a little wonky if you're using it on like a cement, like it'll just look like that and you don't want that. So you want to maybe bring the strength down a little bit. It's not bad. I mean, it's kind of noticeable, but it's really not that bad, dude. Like no one's gonna notice on Instagram, I'll tell you that much. I just like how we got rid of some of those things down here and we just kind of cleaned up the bumper. So we're gonna end it with this one. Looks good though, man. I love the photo, Felix. Thanks for sending it in. All right, you guys, so we're on to the next one. And this one is by Kevin Sue. Um, dude, I love the color of the car. It looks like you found a pretty cool spot. It looks very similar to our old cars and coffee spot in Charlotte. I don't know if that's where this is, but very nice looking car, my man. I'm gonna go ahead and start editing this. Um, right off the bat, I feel like I need to crop it because it's not centered. So I would do something like this and make the car the entire focal point. I think the first thing we're gonna do is bring up that contrast a little bit. Just kind of move around this exposure bar and see where I like it. Some of that clarity up, some of that vibrance up. Bam, we're already looking so much better. I love how that just brought out this mud right here. That's cool. This is a really sick photo. So what we'll do now is we'll go down to our little S curve. I'm gonna bring down some of the darks, bring up some of the highlights, and maybe bring down some of the midtones. Uh, yeah, just a little bit of the midtones so the whites don't get too washed out. We had a lot of blue, this is the blue before. I think we're gonna pull back just a touch on it. You really like all of the other colors happening in this. It's super neutral, which just looks good. Um, I like the, I like the, I like the blur, the depth effect that we're getting. So we have a blur at the lower end of the photo and it gives us like that depth effect and the focal point on the car. So I really wouldn't mess with anything down here. I would only mess with obviously our smoothing filter again and bring this up a little bit. And then if I feel like it's overbearing on the smooth, like that's a little bit, I'm gonna bring up the clarity a little more because I actually liked some of the grainy feel on this one. And I think it's really the uh, like the mud and the rocks that makes me dig like that grainy vibe. I might actually bring back some of that noise reduction. Okay, so let's go back to these masks. I'm gonna really just work on the sky. Uh, I think the sky has a lot of potential in this photo. Bring it into the car too much because I'm not looking to change the car. I actually really like how the car looks. It's like this black, dark gray, kind of like cryptic vibe. Um, bring back the exposure on this and then maybe bring up some of the contrast so we get this real definition out of the sky. So now here's, here's where we get to decide, do we want to keep this sky the same color? Do we want to work with the sky's colors at all? Do we want to lighten it? Do we want to change it up completely? And this is where I would actually just kind of play around and have fun with it, to be honest with you. Like we could do something like that, like that even looks really cool. So I like the best of both worlds. I actually really like some of like the pink coming in, but I like the blue too. So I think I'm going to kind of have a party with it and mesh them, um, bring that down a little more and then maybe darken it just a little bit too. So the focal point is really, really on the car. I think maybe just like a, good, a healthy mix of those purples and blues, not like overbearing, but it almost, it just looks natural like that. Dude, that, that's a great photo. I really like that. Awesome photo, dude. Thank you for sending that in, man. So I'm gonna shoot that one out, we're done with that. All right, next photo is by Carter Hayes. Thank you for sending this in, Carter. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna crop off some of your back. Uh, it's busy, there's a lot going on. You might not love this crop, but I kinda do like it. Kinda do like it because it leaves some of my interesting sky over here popping. So let's start with this, let's start with this. And then we'll bring up some of the shadows. We don't need to bring up too much. It looks like this photo is a little bit washed out. So I don't wanna to go too nuts with bringing out the black. We have some of that clarity and some of that vibrance already looking so much better. I like the colors. I really wouldn't change too much about the coloring that's going on. Um, I would let this be like that. 
uh, smooth some of this over, maybe even bring up the detail a little bit. Actually like the detail in this photo. It looks like this was made with a, uh, or this was taken rather with a better camera, which is awesome. Really what we're gonna be able to do here is mess with the sky. Um, there's a lot going on. You have these really cool reflections. So I'm gonna keep all that dude and I really like making it kind of vibrant like that. I don't want to make it like nighttime per se, but I do want to make it a little bit darker so it's so it's got a mood going on. Bam, dude. I love that right there. Honestly, I wouldn't change a thing. I wouldn't overthink some of these edits. I would just go with it. So we're going to export this one. I'm cool with it. Here is the before and here is the after. Thank you for sending that in, my man. Good looking photo. Hope you enjoy the new one. All right, so this next photo is sent in by Viet Ho. Uh, I believe that's your name, yeah, Viet Ho. Uh, thank you for sending in the photo. Very cool, very cool looking car. Awesome background. The It looks a little bit washed out, so what we're gonna do is bring down some of that exposure, bring up some of that contrast, and it's really gonna be a battle of the blacks. Battle of the blacks, a little bit of uh, that clarity and some vibrance. It's a very cool background, I don't know where you found that. The one thing that I don't like, um, your headlights have a lot of yellow in it. I'm gonna pull back on some of that yellow so it's not so yellow, but more of a white. And then we'll do some smoothing here, just like we usually do. Kind of feel out the smoothing from there. I want a little more detail in it. I'm gonna bring up this detail a little more. What I do is use this little filter up here on the mask up top and kind of just control some of what's happening. Bring out that contrast, make it super vivid. Um, I want that, yeah, I want that background to stand out, dude. I want that to look really, really good. And then I might do the same down here, actually, and bring out some of this concrete and kind of put your car in the center of the, uh, the entire thing. Nothing too nuts, just a little bit, so you can see some of that cracking. Already a better photo. And honestly, I wouldn't do too much to it. It looks so sick with the background and the reflections and everything. So that is my take on this one. I'm gonna shoot it out. Here's the before and after. Hope you enjoy it, man. Thank you so much for sending in the photo. All right, so this next one was sent in by Kevin Kim. Yes, Kevin Kim. Thank you for sending in this photo, man. I've actually already edited this photo, but I'm gonna do it again. Uh, I'm gonna show you how I did it. And we're basically just gonna be messing with some of that contrast, some of those shadows again. Where the magic is gonna go down is the clarity and the vibrance. Um, that is really how you make these photos pop and that's with our little S curve here too. This is just kind of my vibe when I do editing and, and um, you know, everyone's got their own kind of style to it, so there's no right or wrong way. Uh, so this is what I would do here. I would bring this down just a little bit, bring up that contrast a little bit, bring out some of those colors. I think that already looks super sick, way better than what it was when it was sent in. Bam, dude, I think that looks awesome. Might actually pull back on the blue. It's a little heavy in the blues. And then I'll go back to my mask up here and I want to bring out a little more color in that sky. Um, and you can get crazy, man. You could completely change the sky color. We could change the temperature of it and really just wash it out and go nuts. But I'll be honest with you, this sky looks really good as is, so there's not a whole lot we need to do. I'm going to leave it just like that. Thank you for sending in the photo, man. It looks awesome. Here's the before and after. All right, so the last one that we have here, you guys, is by Y.H. Huang. Uh, sorry if I pronounced that incorrectly, my man. Awesome looking roller photo. Love rollers. My favorite photos to, to be a part of and, and edit and see. Rollers are sick. I want to do some more rollers in my car, but anyways, let's hop into this photo. Start editing it. So basically, we're gonna mess with the exposure a little bit. Uh, I don't really need to do too much with the blacks. Everything is rather prevalent. So I'm going to just bring the contrast in a little harder, do my clarity here, do my vibrance thing. You guys already know how this works. Okay, so now I'm starting to see that the blacks are getting lost. I might bring up those shadows and blacks just a little bit, kind of even it out. Get a little touch on that S curve, bring out those highlights, bring in those blacks. Uh, there's a lot of blue, so I'm gonna bring back the blue just a little bit. I love the trees and the green in the background. I wouldn't change that for a thing. Maybe the yellow can come back a little bit. I feel like that's a little too much. Um, yeah, I like that a little more. I just don't really like orange and yellow in photos. I feel like it just looks weird. That looks really cool though. 
looks much better. So we'll go ahead and smooth this out. I see that the photo might have a little bit of low resolution in it or a blur or something. And already, man, I mean, that smoothing filter helps out a ton when it comes to this stuff. That looks really cool. I'm digging that. And I would go bop, bop, like that. I think for this photo's sake, we're just gonna do that because the car is the focal point. Let's take this over here. Um, let's see, what did we hit? What did we hit? I think that's pretty much it. I'm gonna put a little bit of mask on the top just to bring out some clarity in those trees. I'm not gonna make them too dark or anything, but I do wanna bring out a little bit of that clarity and contrast. Um, I like these masks because you can individually control pieces of the photo. I'm digging that right there. Vivid, clear, precise. Uh, the colors pop. I love the white. I like how we got rid of the orange. I like how the green is coming at us and there's still a little, little bit of the, uh, the blue in it. Very cool looking photo, man. I love rollers. So let's export this and we are good. So here is the before and after of this one. Thank you for sending in the photo, man. It looks great. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Dude, I love editing photos. It's honestly a huge part of me having the Instagram and the channel. I'm super, super creative. So when I get to edit photos and kind of manipulate things and, and just have fun with this, it's a passion and hobby of mine. Uh, I absolutely enjoy it. And so if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know down below in the comments. And if you guys want me to do more videos like this, we can open something up. Um, I'll, I'll send out my email to where you guys can send all the photos. Just remember that please do send in high res photos. It just makes everything easier and it looks so much better. I'm probably gonna make a separate Gmail for where people can send in their photos so we just don't overload my, my actual email that I use for work. But anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Please do subscribe if you're new here. Comment down below, hit that like button, hit that bell notification, and just like that, this video is over. And I'm out. Peace.